We're back with chapter eight of Capture the Flag. Hello. Good morning or afternoon or whatever time you're watching this video. I know you all have to watch it different times when computers or iPads are available. So, hello. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm so excited to find out. Do you think? Do you think it was Jose's mom? <gasps> Let's find out. Okay, chapter eight. Dude, can you imagine if she did it? Oh, there's Henry right off the bat, right? I'll start again. Dude, can you imagine if she did it? Your mom would be like some kind of genius. Henry and the others half walked, half ran to keep up with Jose's march down the B terminal hallway. I mean, it's awesome. That flag must have had alarms and everything. So for her to, Jose whirled around with his finger pointing, almost poked Henry in the chest. It is not awesome. My mother, his voice trembled, but he held up his arm, still pointing at Henry as if daring him to speak. My mother loves that flag. Until last night, I hadn't seen her in three weeks. She lived away from us on and off for six months to work on the restoration. Six months. Henry took a small step back. But Jose stepped forward to meet him. She'd never take that flag from the chamber. Never. She loves that flag as much as she loves me. He finished quietly. Henry stepped back again, and this time Jose let him go. I, I didn't mean it like that, Henry said. I just meant, you know, whoever did it, not your mom, but whoever must have done some cool stuff to get it out. He looked down at the game prism in his hand, like secret stuff, secret spy stuff, only in real life. Well, you ought to think before you say things like that. How would you like to go three weeks without seeing your mom? Henry blinked. My mom died three years ago. Oh, Jose scuffed his sneaker on the floor tiles. For once, he couldn't seem to come up with a quote. I'm sorry, Henry. Anna put her hands in her pockets, then took them out again. <clears throat> Hammurabi trotted up, trotted up and dropped Mr. Squeaky at Henry's feet. <clears throat> Henry gave the toy a little kick. Yeah, well, my dad and I have been doing okay, and he's got Bethany now, so you know. Henry shrugged and started walking slowly down the hallway, scuffing his untied sneakers. He turned on his game prism and poked at it as he walked. Jose, Anna, and Sinan followed Henry past the coffee shop and the Cinnabunny. Hammurabi ran ahead with Mr. Squeaky in his mouth, dropping the toy every few yards to see if anyone would pick it up and throw it for him. No one did. Finally, Henry looked up from his game, where are we going anyway? <clears throat> Jose shrugged. I was going to walk around and I don't know, anything seems better than just sitting at the gate. I have an idea, Anna said. We should check on that snake arm guy from the restaurant. He's on my suspect list. And you know, Henry's right. Whoever did this must have studied the security system and wanted the flag. No, needed it. Needed it enough to risk everything. <clears throat> Anna stopped in front of the Pickersgill Diner, where the diner, the dinner line snaked into the hallway and turned to Henry. The dog can't go in, so I think you should wait here with Sinan and Hammurabi. Jose and I will go back to investigate. The diner was even busier now, with more waitresses carrying bigger, fuller trays of hamburgers. Excuse me. Anna said, squeezing past the lady with a stroller near the front of the line. We're not eating. We just need to see someone really quick. She pulled Jose into the corner by the hostess stand so they could look for Snake Arm. He's probably not back yet from wherever he went, but maybe someone will have some information. <clears throat> the kitchen door swung open and the pink-haired hostess stepped up to them. She held a pile of menus. How many? We don't need a table, Jose said. We're just wondering about someone. Anna stood on her toes and tried to, seem to see into the kitchen, but the door swung shut. The man who was here before with the tattoo, Claude Pickersgill, he owns the place, but he left. 
and you need to leave too if you're not ordering. We're busy. The hostess shooed Anna and Jose back towards the door with her menus. Do you know where he went? Anna asked. Said he had to go home early. Go home early? Anna turned her head to the window where the snow was falling so thick and fast the planes on the runway were just ghosts covered in white. I thought the roads were closed. Is he coming back? Anna called over her shoulder after they'd been ushered all the way back to the hallway. Who knows? The hostess held up menus to the next couple in line. Table for two? There's definitely something up with that guy, Anna said as she and Jose left the diner. They found Henry and Sinan sitting in side-by-side shoeshine chairs, leaning together over Ge Henry's game prism. The shoeshine guy was nowhere to be found, but Hammurabi was sniffing at Henry's sneakers as if he might lick it clean. Henry looked up. Oh, hey, did you find the flag? That guy had it hidden in the restaurant's silverware drawer, didn't he? <laughs> Sinan snickered, and even Hammurabi seemed to have a sh sort of smirk on his face. Anna folded her arms. You can laugh all you want, but I think that snake arm guy is hiding something. There's no way he just left to go home in the middle of all of this. Anna gestured towards the window. No, that doesn't really add up, Jose agreed. But we can't go running around out there trying to track him down. I'm afraid we bit off more than we could chew here. Sinan's face lit up and he pulled a sketch pad from his pocket. While he drew, Henry chased his game prism bank robbers. Jose patted Hammurabi's head thoughtfully, while Hammurabi looked longingly at the doggy bags being carried out of the Pickerskill diner. Anna stared out the window at the fat snowflakes. There had to be something they could do to help while they were stuck here. A little investigating wasn't biting off more than they could chew, was it? What do you think? Sinan held up his sketch. We bit off more than we can chew. Very nice, Anna said. But I still think, roof! Hammurabi jumped up and barked at a group of men hurrying out of the candy store behind them. It was Senator Snickerbottom and his crew. <clears throat> Good boy, Hammurabi, Anna said. Maybe I can finish my interview. She headed for the men, but then she stopped and turned. Look, she whispered, it's him. They could see half of Snake Arm's face sticking out from behind a big rack of gummy worms at the candy store entrance. He kept his body hidden, but peered down the hallway as Snickerbottom and his men walked away. Then Snake Arm looked around, came out from behind the rack, and ran into the electronics store next door. He's following Snickerbottom, Henry said, finally looking up from his game. Sure enough, Snake Arm reappeared, half hidden behind a stack of remote control airplanes, and peered down the hall. Ducking in and out behind book displays and candy counters, Snake Arm tailed the senator and his men past four more stores. Well, forget the bank robbers then, Henry stood up from the shoeshine chair and tucked his game into his pocket. We've got a real life suspect to chase now. That's it. That's the end of the chapter. And I decided I'm not going to show you the we bit off more than we can chew because I'm going to give you a challenge. All right. So your challenge is to draw a picture that represents that we bit off more than we can chew and take a picture of it and put it into the comments or I'll make this one an assignment so you can add it to your assignment like it was uh, like it was your assignment, okay? And um, then I will show you, once I see lots of pictures, I will see, I will show you what it really looked like, okay? Because if I show it to you, you might just kind of copy it and I want to see what you come up with. Can't wait. All right, I look forward to seeing your comments and uh, I enjoy checking your schoolwork every day. Uh, I like to I like to give you some thoughts and ideas on how to improve. I hope that you're looking back at your assignments because even after you've done them, I give you suggestions to fix them. And I did uh, I did fit, I clicked on the button that allows you to go back and unsubmit so that you can um, 
fix things and resubmit if you'd like, okay? And if you can't resubmit, just in the comments underneath, fix it and recopy it and paste it and then I can see your changes, okay? All right, guys, keep up the good work um, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.